uh, let me try to uh, close this uh, session before the group photo, the lunch break, uh, with, uh, uh, I hope, a good uh, conclusion, also looking at the program uh, that uh, we already had here. So the title, Sharing is Caring, uh, because yes, we are a community and uh, we are not just the LibreOffice community. Uh, everyone here is probably involved uh, in other projects. And uh, what I would like to try to uh, share with you today is uh, uh, how uh, the uh, interactions with uh, the other communities can improve also our projects and uh, how uh, we are already improved uh, uh, also looking uh, at, the, at the past of our, our project. So, first of all, uh, share. Uh, let's try without. <laughs> you should have. Sharing, the word is not this. shared anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. So, let's try. Uh, it's, um, it's okay for you, it's, uh, should, I should be loud enough, I hope. Um, it's um, a common topic. Uh, we are trying to uh, meet uh, each year, uh, like uh, today, uh, like this week, uh, at uh, Libo Colonna for sharing uh, what the community was doing uh, uh, during uh, uh, the, the year, the, the past year. And uh, what we should try to do more is to uh, interact, to listen to the other communities. Uh, to the other local communities because uh, yes we have a project that is TDF but without uh, the local communities we, we can't have uh, TDF, we can't have LibreOffice, uh, we, we could just be a, a, a group that is uh, developing a, a software but our community is much more, it's not just that. So uh, I think that uh, it's uh, it's a really beautiful, amazing, incredible to see how the local communities are working uh, for uh, sharing the message, sharing uh, our uh, common value. And uh, uh, if compared with, uh, with the previous years, we can finally see that uh, uh, we are not anymore uh, a European project. We have really strong uh, communities that are uh, maybe starting from scratch in some cases, or starting uh, just with a, with a really uh, big uh, user base that it's already there but uh, needs just to have uh, uh, someone that can uh, uh, create the first group and start to do the activities uh, uh, like a real, uh, a real group, like a real community. Uh, I'm really happy to see uh, how, for example, the Indonesian community uh, was uh, organizing uh, events uh, uh, was organizing uh, not just the uh, conference but also the other uh, sprints uh, and the other activities uh, that they were planning uh, uh, during, uh, during the year. Uh, it's the same uh, for uh, uh, the first uh, LibreOffice Asia uh, conference that uh, was uh, planned and organized this year and uh, was uh, for the uh, number of attendees uh, absolutely comparable with our annual meeting. So, as project, probably we, we should start <coughs> to look much more uh, at our local communities, trying to uh, to learn from uh, uh, from the others, trying to improve what uh, what we already uh, had. Uh, I am really happy to uh, give this speech just. Uh, uh, after uh, the, the previous one from uh, Gustavo and Olivier, because yeah, this one, this one is the spirit. Uh, people that are trying to uh, travel uh, for several hours just for the first meeting, uh, for starting to uh, create uh, something that is there but needs to uh, to be with the, created with the proper shape. It was great uh, to have uh, Daniel uh, on the phone, honestly. Uh, I'm really uh, glad to, to see people with, uh, with all this passion for, uh, for our project. Uh, 
TDF and LibreOffice uh, uh, is uh, are growing, and this one is possible just thanks to uh, all of you that uh, yes, that have doing uh, is so incredible, uh, incredible job. But apart from looking at what we are, we can also have the uh, opportunity to look uh, at the other communities, uh, looking at how they are. Uh, growing, uh, what they are doing, uh, just for trying to understand if we can uh, improve more. And uh, um, last year we were also creating uh, this uh, diversity page uh, under our uh, uh, wiki. And yes, the diversity topic uh, is always something uh, uh, tricky and controversial to, to handle because uh, the risk is to create uh, another closed group of people uh, that are not really connected uh, uh, with, the, with the rest of the project. So uh, it's, it's important to have this page because the page is there, uh, it's possible to collect the information, share experience, but uh, I, I think that uh, this one should be just uh, a, a point for uh, retrieving information, for sharing information. Uh, it's important to share the message that uh, trying to improve the diversity of our community is not just uh, the, the needs to have uh, more women attending uh, the conference uh, or something like that. Uh, the, the most important reason is to have uh, uh, different ideas, uh, different uh, culture that can, uh, in that way, grow our community and create something that is really healthy that can uh, last forever, I hope. I mean, we can't live forever, but I hope to see uh, the project uh, uh, growing uh, with uh, several other people that are uh, deciding to join the foundation uh, as members, uh, as, uh, uh, why not, directors for the board, uh, for the MC. Because without uh, uh, your passion, without uh, uh, your commitment, we are nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, on the diversity topic, uh, uh, just this Monday during uh, this conference uh, uh, with the board, uh, we were deciding uh, to uh, push more this topic because we are doing something, but it's not enough. If you look uh, at the conference, uh, also this conference, uh, we have uh, several uh, uh, members uh, uh, from uh, uh, Taiwan, uh, uh, and others that are traveling uh, uh, from uh, other countries. It's uh, great, but it's not enough. We can always uh, try to, uh, to do more, to achieve more. And uh, with the board, the idea is to uh, try to add uh, uh, metrics and collect uh, a bit of statistics in each project that we will uh, create uh, uh, in the future and also in the projects uh, and activities that are already active, try to uh, have a look uh, if we can do something also on the diversity and uh, uh, inclusion uh, topic. As I said before, avoiding uh, to create uh, a custom group uh, of people, closed group of people uh, that are protected uh, because uh, I don't know which is the uh, classification topic uh, that could be used. It's not this one the, the reason, absolutely not. And uh, as I was saying, uh, we are a community, but in the reality we are all members usually of uh, others community, not just in the office. And uh, uh, during uh, these years, we, we were also uh, improving, uh, looking at <coughs> others. Uh, for example, uh, the Mozilla community. Uh, yesterday, there was the, uh, the speech from Sidorella uh, um, and Mike uh, about uh, our own, uh, what can I do for uh, what, what can I do for uh, uh, LibreOffice? But the idea is not something that we were uh, creating uh, from zero. There was already uh, something used, uh, created by Mozilla project, so why not? It's a good idea. There is nothing wrong in taking something that is already working, uh, that is available, that can be reused. 
So this one was, for example, an example uh, was, for example, a way to improve our community. Uh, it's the same from uh, Fedora. Uh, we have several members that are also part of the Fedora community, and uh, uh, this Fedora badge uh, it's a way to uh, use the uh, gamification for uh, give uh, uh, an award uh, to the uh, community members that uh, are doing something. They do something can be everything. Can be translation. Can be uh, marketing activity. Can be development. It's something that we we can decide uh, and we can create. But again, it's not an idea that was there uh, just falling down from the sky. Uh, it's. Uh, a project that is already active, that is uh, um, from, uh, for example, from the uh, Fedora project. Uh, always uh, on the diversity and inclusion uh, uh, topic, uh, uh, there is this interesting uh, uh, approach to the conferences from uh, Kidie. Uh, during our conference, uh, we were just asking uh, during the opening uh, to Scream, uh, raise the hand uh, for uh, avoiding to be uh, present in uh, uh, pictures. But this one is a, a smarter way to achieve the same. Instead of asking uh, to everyone uh, if uh, they want to be in uh, in a picture or not, you can just have uh, a different uh, lineup for the conference with a different color, and immediately you can uh, understand uh, if uh, that person. Uh, prefer to avoid uh, to be in a picture. Why not? It's, it's simple. In any case, we need to buy uh, the something for the badges. We can just choose two different colors and that's all. It's uh, not extremely expensive, but with, uh, with this simple uh, uh, object for, um, for, the, for the conference, we can create something that is more inclusive uh, for the, for the community members. So uh, these one are just a few examples of how it's possible to, to improve the community. Uh, everyone can uh, give uh, other, can share other feedback, can uh, uh, suggest something also new. Why not? There is no problem. And maybe that uh, diversity page uh, under the wiki could be, should be the right place uh, for collecting uh, this kind of information. Uh, last but not least, uh, there is the... Okay, I'm, I was fighting with the autocorrector from uh, Impress. Uh, the open source <laughs> is mistyped and I'm really upset <laughs> because they thought it's lowercase uh, and not uppercase. <laughs> I was correcting it uh, probably three or four times. Because and obviously. <laughs> you have to disa disable the, the, the feature. Uh, yeah, but the... I'm using it. I like it. Mm. Okay, mm. never mind. Uh, the demo effect. So, uh, right. the, the last uh, things that I want to share uh, from other communities, it's uh, something uh, that uh, uh, I was mm, seeing uh, uh, directly uh, during uh, the last uh, of the conference. And uh, honestly, after that moment, I was thinking that probably we need to do uh, something also under this area for, uh, for our community members. So let me try to uh, recall what, what was happening. Uh, we were attending a speech like uh, this now, and uh, one of the speakers was just falling down on stage. Why? Huh? It happened to me as well as one. Yeah, but in that case, uh, uh, the, the person was having a heart attack. So not no. something uh, not trivial. And uh, with the conference, uh, we were not planning something <laughs> like that. But you are not imagining that mm, a speaker could have an uh, after that. But I mean, we are all human. Everything can happen. So in that case, uh, uh, let me say that the, the person is uh, fine, uh, is uh, alive. Everything went well at the end. But. Uh, 
in in the moment, uh, in the in that critical moment, uh, we were not exactly ready to do something. Uh, fortunately, uh, there were some attendees that uh, were able to uh, to uh, to do something because uh, uh, they were there with uh, uh, some personal uh, notions about. Uh, um, this kind of uh, uh, problems, but uh, when the ambulance was arriving, uh, the doctors were asking uh, uh, the name of the person, uh, they were asking uh, the emergency contact, uh, they were asking about uh, allergies uh, or uh, other drugs that that person was taking, and the answer was, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, this person is a speaker, we just know the name, but we don't know if uh, there are other relevant information that should be shared uh, with, the, with the doctors. We were not able to collect uh, quickly this kind of information. And uh, one idea could be uh, to, to store the information during the registration, but honestly, we are talking about something that uh, is really personal and it's, uh, I mean, it's not the right way to organize the conference. You can't ask to all the attendees to share so many uh, personal information. So the proposal uh, that will, uh, uh, will be probably applied also from the next year conference is to try uh, to ask uh, to all the attendees to bring, uh, maybe in the, in the badge, uh, a, a paper with a uh, with all the information, and I'm talking about a piece of paper with all the information because, yes, in theory, you can have the contact, the emergency contact in the phone, but we were not able to find uh, this information in the phone. Then we discovered that, in any case, uh, that person was not adding uh, uh, the contact, uh, the emergency contact, and everything else in the phone. So, a, a perfect old style piece of paper with uh, all the information. Uh, it's really helpful. And you can be on stage, you can be uh, in uh, the conference venue, but mm, maybe without the bed. So it's risky uh, to, to ask to add uh, this kind of information in, uh, uh, to the phone. Uh, <clears throat> maybe not just risky, but illegal. In some cases, not, not illegal, but I mean, from the GDPR point of view, I don't want to collect this kind of information. No, no, no. absolutely not. That's it. No, no. no. Uh, so again, um, probably we will create uh, a form that uh, uh, the attendees can just download, print, and fill. And uh, in any case, it's important to have uh, the name, so name address a phone to call, a phone number to call, and uh, uh, as I was saying before, this uh, um, health uh, information that are vital in uh, a case like that. That person was uh, really lucky. Uh, during uh, the conference, uh, as, I, as I, uh, I was saying before, uh, during uh, the, the speech, there were, uh, apart from me, other two uh, people able to do something, but uh, we discovered that, for example, the venue um, was not uh, equipped with uh, the defibrillator because it's not mandatory in uh, each country. For me, it was uh, really something new because I'm Italian and uh, if you are in, uh, in a public venue, you must have the defibrillator, but it's not something uh, common uh, in all the countries. So, to the list of uh, things that we want to uh, ask to the local organizers, uh, probably we should have uh, also this kind of information. Uh, from the local team, uh, it's a good idea to have uh, uh, to, to know if there is uh, someone with some uh, uh, basics for uh, this kind of emergencies. First aid. Hmm? First aid. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Is important for uh, the security of members. 
Yeah, because uh, I mean uh, we can try to organize a lecture, we can try to share uh, the last uh, cool feature that we were developing, but without community <laughs> we are really nothing. So uh, until now, honestly, I was not thinking at all to these safety improvements. We just have uh, had something uh, uh, during a previous conference that was not something. Absolutely nothing comparable with, uh, with that experience. So, as I was saying before, this person is uh, still alive, everything at the end uh, went well. But uh, as TDF member, uh, I, I absolutely want to do something also for my, for my community, for my living office community. And I think that uh, if uh, anyone here has other ideas on uh, this topic, uh, uh, it would be really great uh, to add immediately to the wiki page uh, uh, a list of uh, other checks uh, that we should add uh, uh, at our handbook checklist uh, for, uh, for, the, for the conference. Do you have one on wiki page? I have uh, already done <laughs> I need to add uh, this part to the uh, wiki. I think that uh, um, we could use the diversity page, or maybe we can uh, just uh, add something to your checklist uh, for the conference. Yes, because I, I already added it on the file, mm -hmm. and maybe people can add ideas on the file. Yeah, uh, we need to decide which is the place, but yeah. we need to have uh, a, a place uh, also for this kind of improvements. Because I, I was thinking about the uh, uh, emergency toolkit, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, for uh, conference organizer, with a template for the personal information, yes. and also the name of people, because we are still always uh, the same person coming at the conference, and, uh, Helping with the regular person coming. Name, telephone, and the abilities. So it would be, yeah. it would be the template for the batch, and they could choose if print themselves or let us print. In that case, we just make an authorization of the books. People may attend, you may come already with a print batch, so they, they are the only responsible. It's, uh, for only example, responsible. something uh, that we can share uh, with the registration form. Indeed. Uh, I, I was thinking about uh, uh, template for uh, stickers to add to the uh, okay. yeah. uh, batch. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you know how to use uh, uh, the yeah, yeah. Also that. If you just use the so for the yeah. outside, just watch your name as usual, yeah. and on the inside, you watch yeah. the yeah. 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 information that was given to you, what you Yeah, either with. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. As I was also sharing with, uh, with other uh, members, uh, this one was uh, really something that was uh, changing my view of conference and uh, uh, improvements to take care of. Uh. But, okay, let's try to, <laughs> to move to something uh, uh, not so stressful. I, I can still feel the stress just <laughs> thinking to what was happening. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> was uh, really unexpected as an uh, experience. But, uh, sharing uh, is caring. Yes, uh, we need to care of our community also with, uh, with other kind of initiative. Uh, this one was uh, one initiative that we, we were uh, adopting in uh, Rome, also because uh, um, Flavia Marzano from the city of Rome uh, is one of the uh, strongest promoters in Italy of this uh, uh, post occupato. Uh, post occupato, city uh, taken. Uh, is uh, not something just Italian. Uh, the website postofubano.org provides also the, the same player in different languages. The idea is to have uh, uh, during the conference, in particular during the opening session, but will be great to have it uh, uh, also in the, in the other uh, 
uh, rooms to have uh, a seat that is taken uh, with, uh, with this player uh, just for remember remembering uh, uh, the women that are victims of uh, violence. And uh, it's uh, again something simple that we can do because we just need to print the, the flavor and we should just spend a few minutes for uh, explaining uh, to the people why there is a piece of paper uh, on, uh, on a chair. But it's uh, in many cases uh, a way to uh, underline that uh, we are not just a uh, big uh, trying to create a software. Again, we are a community, we are, uh, we are people and we are trying to, to create something uh, all together, to grow something all together. Uh, another um, idea that we were well, um, realizing in, uh, in Rome was also the child care. So during uh, the, the conference we had the opportunity to, uh, to have a person that was uh, available for uh, playing and taking care of the kids that were at the conference. And uh, in theory, from Rome on, uh, the service is available uh, uh, also for the other conferences. Uh, but probably we should try to share more that uh, we want to be inclusive also on that aspect. That uh, uh, would be great to have families uh, uh, at the conference because, again, we are not just uh, we. We are much more. And there are other conferences uh, like the, the non conference where the childcare support is really <laughs> like a playground, it's really well done, but without the kids, without the family, we can just try to provide the service. And uh, starting from the main office conference, it would be great uh, to be able to do the same also for our uh, local events organized uh, by the local community. Um, so apart from uh, adding the request uh, in the registration form, uh, maybe during the, the different uh, messages that we are sending uh, for organizing the event uh, to the attendees and in general for promoting the event, we should try to share more that we want to have family, we want to be uh, inclusive and that everyone can join uh, the event. That uh, uh, having a kid is not a limit, uh, but can just uh, stop your activity with the community because you need to take care of the family. We are a family, we are a community, and everyone can, uh, can join uh, our uh, event, in particular the annual office conference. And uh, another uh, small, apparently, improvement uh, from Rome, we were also providing uh, the t-shirt with the female cut. And Honestly, uh, I like the idea to have the opportunity to choose if I want to have uh, a normal cut or uh, if you make cut for the t-shirt because sometimes when you are attending uh, conferences uh, you can just grab what is available and you are uh, in a place where usually there are uh, a lot of male but the female attendees are less so you are in any case uh, the world people that is working in Rome and you are also wearing something that doesn't fit at all. So it's uh, that small improvement that can uh, increase the, um, the... The level. Hmm? The level. Yeah, yeah. The issue experience. Hmm? The, <laughs> the, the, the issue experience. Yeah, yeah. 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 In my experience, uh, when uh, you are uh, asking for the for the, the shares, uh, like we did uh, this year, we have the problem that we need to, to, to know previously exactly the texture, the, the, the brand we are going to contract, to know the precise sizes, because that, and no matter Excel, everything changes. No, I know. So uh, as, as soon as possible, uh, this year we did that, I'm uh, sorry, but uh, uh, past year for what I was, was uh, a bit better, because uh, I completely agree, and so I, I, I know some girls, uh, maybe uh, we're uh, at, the, at the conference, but after that, <laughs> job that they should be called, they don't know. It, it's gender. Okay. What? Yeah, no, no, there have been many women's size t shirts at uh, them uh, too, of course. Yeah. It's a girl, so. Yeah, yeah but uh, this one was the first time uh, uh, at, the at the conference. At the conference, yes. Until Rome, uh, we were just providing uh, 
the uh, unisex uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. battle. That I mean, better than nothing, but yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Um, Tirana, uh, another interesting uh, improvement. The local organizers were uh, adding uh, in the different venues, not only in the homes but also uh, in the shared uh, areas, uh, some uh, QR code with the uh, link to our code of conduct. Uh, in the conference, yes, the code of conduct is uh, just uh, in the conference website, also in the LibreOffice one, but in the conference website too. It's also something good to uh, to have a like a QR code uh, around uh, the, the venue that can uh, give you the opportunity to look at it in a uh, few seconds. I mean, I hope uh, that the conference will be always uh, uh, a nice place for everyone, but sometimes it can happen. Uh, we are a growing community uh, with a different culture and Something that can be normal for uh, a European can be absolutely the opposite for another member. So having uh, uh, the code of conduct always available is also a way to keep always in mind that everyone should respect the other. Uh, there's no need to scan the code immediately. You can just see it and say, okay, I'm not alone. Uh, there are others. Maybe I should always keep in mind uh, when I'm interacting with people that something that for me is normal could be a problem for someone else. Also like uh, a sign that you can uh, have there as a memento. And uh, another interesting uh, idea from the Albanian community, uh, uh, always from uh, uh, last year, the relaxed area. The idea was also to have uh, the quiet room, but was uh, uh, not possible to have it. Um, during the conference we are uh, running, uh, there are always people trying to finish the slides because it's a conference and uh, it's never possible to have all the presentations ready. Sometimes you need to have a place where you can uh, switch off, uh, you can avoid uh, to have uh, other people around, uh, recharge uh, your uh, batteries and start again to be uh, active in the, in the conference. So, I know that it's not simple to have a, a room that you can simply use uh, in, in this way, but could be, uh, if possible, another interesting uh, improvement. Uh, in this particular case, uh, the Albanians were also uh, adding uh, a world map and uh, the attendees were uh, adding uh, the, the mark for having uh, the final uh, uh, map for the conference. And it was uh, an interesting way to interact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we want to be inclusive also when uh, we are talking about food. Uh, now it's uh, quite an habit to uh, ask uh, for uh, a vegan or uh, a vegetarian food. Uh, in Tirana, uh, for the um, shared dinner, for the community dinner, uh, there were uh, different areas. Uh, uh, with uh, a clear mark for understanding if uh, uh, which kind of food was available. Uh, it was a start. Uh, probably was also mm, uh, possible to create something more uh, inclusive because uh, after looking at the table we were thinking, okay, it's clear that that table uh, will provide the food for vegans, but if uh, all the vegans are sitting on that table, uh, we are again uh, dividing the community. So it was a uh, it was an, a first step, it, let's say. It's a part day. Hmm? It's a part <laughs> Yeah. And the end probably was a, uh, a good way to show immediately which kind of food was available, but uh, from the human interaction okay, point of view. Uh, it was an attempt. Yeah, maybe the nice first one. <laughs> the first true. one. But maybe uh, for, uh, for the other conferences, uh, uh, can be an idea to, to have a, a clear mark for um, uh, selecting uh, properly the, the kind of food uh, uh, available. Some kind of self service stuff, yeah. Could so be. you mark the food and other place, yeah. yeah. Yeah, indeed. So, improvements. Um, as I was saying before, uh, this one is uh, probably the, the the recent improvement that uh, uh, we had, that is the website, uh, um, 
taken from the uh, Mozilla idea and uh, um, <coughs> created uh, um, as a, a, a joint activities between uh, TDF and the Albanian community. So now there is this uh, website available uh, with uh, all the information uh, that less or more are the different areas uh, for contributing uh, uh, to our community. Uh, what I want to try to, to achieve also for the next conferences is uh, uh, to take more from this uh, discovery cookbook. Uh, um, this, uh, obviously, it's something always available that we can all use, uh, is uh, an interesting collection of uh, uh, activities that uh, uh, can improve uh, conferences. Uh, you can find uh, uh, information about how to organize the conference, uh, how to handle uh, uh, the uh, registration, uh, how to take care of the different kind of meal that you should have, uh, the child care. It's everything there available that can be improved because it's on uh, the app, so you can create uh, your own cookbook. And uh, it's not something uh, done uh, randomly by people. It's uh, something provided, uh, created by the diversity and inclusion in uh, scientific computing. So there are people that uh, know more about um, diversity and inclusion and uh, that are sharing uh, uh, the information. And uh, I want to close the, uh, this presentation uh, with uh, uh, a nice slide uh, from uh, Matthias from uh, FSLP. The, uh, this one is a picture that I was taking uh, in uh, Tirana, it was for Tosca, not for the Bocom. And uh, I think that it's the perfect closing because, yes, uh, we are all uh, uh, individuals, but all together we can really uh, create something uh, incredible. We can really uh, achieve uh, more that could, could be possible just uh, acting uh, as, a, as a, a big family, as a big community, as a big group of diverse people, diverse and inclusive people. Uh, if you have questions about uh, Sandra, I am here available. Uh, you can call me for metros, just because I'm the <laughs> local one. Otherwise, uh, uh, we have the lunch group uh, photo. Another group photo? We had a group photo yesterday. I don't know if... Uh, it's on the schedule, but... Okay. Yes, it's still on the schedule. schedule. It's already 13.41, so... Yeah. Better yeah. go to lunch. Thank you. Okay, so Thank you. That's okay.